Hi everyone, welcome back with Take Away Easy. My name is Yanni. I'm doing this home decor channel together with Diane and I hope you are ready for our daily home decor inspiration. And of course, this is the supplies we need for our new DIY. And you see already I have two um, little uh, pieces of wood and these are leftovers from uh, another uh, DIY. So this is just a piece you normally throw away. So I use two of this one and these are both of them are 15 centimeters. Then we're going to use some dowels and some dowels. These are 30 centimeters. I think in inches is I think the if I am correct, it is the half. So, and of course we use some wooden slices. I order this always online on AliExpress, but you can buy them anywhere. Uh, I think Dollar Tree, Dollarama also have in their um, craft selection, of course, also these uh, pieces. So this is what we are going to uh, use for our next DIY. And we are going to try to make uh, a flower on the stand. So we will see how this will turn out. It's my first time. So we are going to see how this DIY is turned out. I hope you come along with me. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to paint the blocks in the black color. But of course, like I always say in every uh, DIY we are making, you are free to do whatever you like and the colors you like. So I chose choose for this color black. So I'm going to paint this with the chalk paint or schoolboard paint, just how you call it. So I'm going to do both of them in the black color. And this is a matte finish because I like a little bit of the matte touch but if you like more shiny it's also fine if you like gold or pink or white later on we're going to use the white but for now we're going to do the stands in the black color now our stands are drying uh, from the black color what I'm going to do right now I'm just taking a little piece of kitchen towel uh, and I take my furniture wax is just a home brand it's very uh, cheap so just take some furniture wax and I'm going to do the dowels in the wax. And of course, I don't do one side. The top I don't do with the furniture wax because I have to glue them uh, on top of our stand. So I leave one piece open. The other piece you can still uh, do in the furniture wax because you are um, gluing this on the back side of your flower. So I'm going to do both of them in the furniture wax. And of course, I will do both of them and then we are going to make our flower. And now we are going to take our wooden slices and we are going to make two flowers. I will do one together with you. So, and we need the uh, smaller ones to make the uh, petals, if I am correct. I hope I say it right. <laughs> I don't know, but we will see. Uh, you see, uh, I use eight of them. So, what I'm going to do right now is just make four of them just a square with four of them just a little bit this way and i'm going to watch how many of the i think this is a little bit okay and i'm going to do i will glue one over here i will glue one over here a little bit closer of course or else i can get them not glued and one over here and one over here and then we're going to glue our um, bigger piece uh, inside of it and now we have our own flower so we will see if what I have in my mind will work or not so I have to get them a little bit straight and of course there are probably much better ways to do it than what I do let me know in the comment if you have a much better idea than I have so please let me know So we will see if this will work out or not. And this is my first time I am do going to do this one. So I also have no clue what I'm doing. So <laughs> I'm going to try it a little bit. And we will see if this was the right, the right way or the wrong way. So and I'm going to glue and I'm going to a little bit uh, above so a little bit this way and we're going to do the last one and we will see I have to get them in the right position 
now i hope everything will stick together <laughs> because you don't know with my DIYs, you always have to be you see this is what you get first and of course they are probably a much easier way than i uh, was thinking about so now i'm going to glue this on top of here so i'm going to glue a little bit over here a little bit over here a little bit over here and a little bit over here of course this you this is wood but as i was thinking maybe you also can do it with some cardboard so i have to look if i have it in the and i think i am for my first flower i am not totally unsatisfied so i am really loving how the flower is looking like and of course this is the back side and i will remove the glue because i don't want the glue wires to be there i always try to get also the back side uh, just as uh, pretty as the the top of the front just like so i will work away the thing and i will make another flower and here you see already our two flowers and i turned over my uh, placemat uh, because we are going to paint and i'm going to paint the whole flower in the white chalk paint and i think i gave it a couple of coats and i also do the back side later on because i like that uh, the front and the back are a little bit the same so i'm going to do uh, the white but like i said earlier do whatever you like so you see here uh, everything is dried up what i'm going to do is uh, make some uh, leaves for our little flower so i draw out one leaf so we can this attach to our dowel i will show you to you this so you can see we uh, make a leaf over here and i make it from a piece of scrap wood and of course i'm going to place it on the side so this is already a, a, a nice nice straight line i'm going to uh, draw it over and I'm going to saw it out so we have four from each side too and we are using just a little piece of scrap wood so here you see already our uh, little leaves we will use for our uh, stem for our flower what I'm going to do I'm going to take some my text marker and I'm going to go uh, on the sides of our leaf we are going to do some uh, black dressing and then we are going to wax it and here you see already I did some a little bit of the black distressing on it and now we're going to take some uh, furniture wax again and we are going to wax it and we don't have to use a uh, wax the side which we will be glued on to our stem so just only the top and the bottom and the sides from this leaf so and I like a little bit of the rustic color of it so you see already how much you will change so you see already our leaves are in the furniture wax and I'm go it's going to dry. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take our flower and I'm going to distress it also with the black and the brown like I do most of my um, decor. So I'm going to go also on the sides of our leaves from our flower. Just always go sideways and just go around the corners and of course around this corner and i'm going to finish off and then i show you exactly the way i did it so you see i did both of them already in the with the black distressing what i'm going to do now with my darker brown i'm going to do little pieces around the black you see just little dots over there i just turn around just do little dots over there it gives a little bit more of a rustic feeling also i do two of them uh, both of them and then i show you of course also how the brown is looking like on the flowers and then i take you along to my computer to make uh, unique little pieces for inside of our flower so you see already how both of the flowers are with the black and with the brown and of course you can also choose a little bit of a more rustic color and i love using my pencil but of course if you are better with some brush it's also fine too so what i'm going to do right now before we glue everything together i'm going to make two little pictures for inside of here i don't know what it will be we will see on my computer but uh, and then we can glue everything together and then we have our own 
easy and a look for less uh, look, I hope. <laughs> so we did it for a lot less than you normally would pay uh, in a store. So I'm going to take you now along with me. And here you see already the print we just made and of course I am really loving a little bit more of the simple uh, print but of course you can go all the way you also can color it in you can do anything you like I will cut this out and then we're going to mop pot it on top of the flowers you see already I did cut out both of them and I am really happy how they are turned out so I'm going to uh, mud pot this on top of here make sure that your flower is the way, the way you want to have it on top of earth uh, later on the stem of course I'm going to do it this way and I'm going to take my little picture off and make sure that my uh, my flower is the right way because or else you can't remove it again so make sure that you have it in the right direction so I'm going to do some mud pot over it and I will show you one, but of course I will do the rest um, out of camera. So I'm going to try to get it a little bit centered. And I'm going to work my way to the outside of my picture. To try to get as less wrinkles if I can. Of course, if you like a little bit more of the shiny um, uh, end result, then you have to go uh, with the mud pot. When this is dried up, you have to go with the mud pot a second time. I love a little bit more of the uh, matte finish, so I will leave it this way. I will do the second one and then we glue everything together. So you see, we are going to start with our flower uh, gluing on top of our uh, little uh, dowel. And it's very easy, just turn it around. And just glue it with some second glue or eat a 6000 just what you use and just glue it on top of here but I always have to be careful how much glue will come out but if you push too hard then he keeps running and running so this is not the uh, perfect glue but we have to deal with it Just move it a little bit and then we are going to lay our dowel in the middle and just make sure that he sticks for it for a little moment. So I will <laughs> bore you with that as you see it when it's finished. So and now we're going to uh, glue our little uh, flower on top of the little block now i hope my block is <laughs> is, is straight and not uh, with lots of <laughs> so we will see how this will turn out of course this glue is already almost dried up so what i'm going to do right now is just place it inside and keep it in place for a little moment but i also won't bore you with that so you see in the moment you see the end result And here you see my finished result of my wooden flowers, but first I show you my inspiration piece. And you saw already, this is so much cheaper than you would buy them inside of a store. And of course, if you want to use the prints I use for inside of the flower, you can find them in our free printables. There you can make your own little uh, display. You can use them as a sign and you also can make, if you are a little bit inspired, you can make also this wooden flowers. You see, I have it uh, under my uh, letter and of course now I have the two of them together. But of course, I will use one of the wooden flowers somewhere else and you see I have him on my small wall under my big clock so I am really happy how they turned out
So before we go further to see what our next DIY will be, I have to tell you that this video is also part of a challenge which is hosted by the beautiful Yami from the Latina next door. Of course, I will place a link down below for Yami, her beautiful channel, so go check it out. And of course, I will place a link down below for the playlist with tons of beautiful inspiration for you to find. Because the challenge is the Look for Less challenge and we love Look for Less, so go check it out. And for now, let's go further to our next and second DIY. For this DIY, we need a, a little piece of wood and I use the free wood because I like cheap. So we using the free wood from Ikea and I printed out a, a rain boot. So I'm going to cut out the rain boot and I'm going to saw them out. And of course, from this piece, I'm going to saw 30 centimeters off to make a, a background from a sign. So I'm going to do, like I said, go doing the rain boot and I'm going to do the sign. So you see, I did cut out my rain boot and I'm going to uh, draw it over and then I'm going to go outside and I'm just going to saw it out. And then I show you how both of them turned out because I'm going to make two of them. And here you see already our little rain boots. Uh, I did uh, saw them out. And of course, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to saw out uh, 30 centimeters of my board to make a background for my rain boots. You see already now we have our background and we have our boots so we are ready to paint. So you see already I started with my black because the camera fell out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But you see already I am using the black school board paint because I'm going to do the background. I'm going to do in the black and later we're going to make some uh, little pieces of twine uh, over our background. So this is the first thing we are going to do, make it black. So you see already, the front is already in the black color. I am taking some very cheap uh, twine and I'm going to do a couple of turns on every side uh, on the end of our board. So I will do turn it around, do a little piece of glue over here, a little line. I'm going to place my twine inside of it this way. And just wait a couple of seconds until it is dried up. And then we're going to do, I think, uh, three turns is more than enough. Of course, if you want to have a thicker layer, also fine too. So I'm going to turn it around. Just do one, I think a little bit this way, one over here. I'm going to turn it around. And of course, I'm going to do glue a little bit on the back side lay my twine again inside of it turn it around again and i'm going to do layer number two and we are going to turn it around again and we are going to lay down our twine and you still have some glue if you don't have glue just do a little bit of glue over here and do your third turn around it and for me this is more than enough so I'm going to do this on the back side, do a little piece of glue over here, just lay my twine inside of it, wait a couple of seconds and then we are going to cut it off and we're going to do the other side. So we do all four of the sides, also this side, this side and on the, on the end. So you see already, this is how it will look like and now we're going to do the rest and I show you then the next step. So you see already now we have our frame finished from our uh, background of our sign. What I'm going to do right now we are going to uh, take our boots and we are going to um, do the boots, uh, give them a base coat I think one or two times with the white chalk paint at least i choose white but of course you can do some print on top of it you can do a, a pink color you can do any color you like i am choosing uh, right now the white and later on we are going to uh, work with it and make it a nice boot but first we give the base coat a white so i chose a very cheap brand of um, chalk paint of course you can also make your own chalk paint but i am going to uh, use a brand but it's very cheap so do whatever you think is right 
but I love this one because and the only bad thing it is it doesn't uh, cover in one time so I have to do it at least two times but we will see so I will do both of them and then we're going to decorate our boot here you see already our uh, rain boots are already uh, with the white chalk paint uh, I have changed my mind that's what you can do with DIY you even can change your mind when you are <laughs> busy so what I'm going to do I was thinking to paint it but I found in my stash uh, such a beautiful print I already uh, had laying around and of course you also can print them out so I have it some strawberries some lemons some uh, Mackenzie child print some harlequin print and I chose two of them I will do the lemon and I will do the harlequin because I am we love so I will do one boot with the harlequin and one boot with the lemon so I will do a one together with you because I think already you know how to mud podge your uh, boot. So I'm going to do some mud podge over it and I'm going to place the whole print over it. And later on I will do with some sanding um, tool or sanding paper, just what you have laying around. I'm going to sand it off so it gives a nice um, finishing touch. But I show you that in an moment but for now we are going to mud put this on top of here so this way and i'm going to take my uh, print and of course i have another one also over here so i'm going to lay it against my mat and i'm going to lay it on top of here to get it a little bit straight so this is and just Squeeze it on top of your rain boot and just go over the lines of it and just squeeze the lines a little bit in your paper. So you see already the structure of the boot is already coming forward and I am letting this dry for at least I think a little hour because I want to be sure before I send it, it has to be dried up. So I will do the other one with the harlequin print and then I show you uh, the next step. So you see already both of them are dried up and what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take my uh, tool, my sanding tool. Of course you can use uh, a sanding paper. I, uh, for me this is a little bit more easy. So I'm just going to go around this side of our paper. As long as it will go off, I'll show you in a little moment. And then I'm going to do the rest out of camera. You see already, I have to do it a little bit better. And now you get a nice line around it. You see already, this already, now you have it already open. I will do the whole uh, rain boot and then I'll show you the result. So you see already, our two boots are already uh, finished. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to make a top of our boot. So just do a little piece of black over here. And I'm going to make a little bit of the bottom of our uh, boot also with the black color. So I'm going to, I think this time I'm going to paint it. But first I'm going to make a line with my marker where I want to have the underside of my boot and the top. So you see already the lines I made, I made the line for on top and I made the line for the bottom and now I'm going to color it in with the black color and of course I show you can also do it with your uh, black marker, just color it in and make a black uh, bottom and a, a black top. So you see here I colored it in with some text marker and what I'm going to do right now I'm going to take some chalk paint. Uh, and I use my school board paint and I'm going over it with my paint because I think the finishing is a little bit uh, better than with your marker. But of course, do whatever you think is uh, great. So but I chose a little bit for the uh, paint. So I let this dry for a little moment and then we're going to uh, place it on top of our side. So you see already I did paint our uh, bottom and the top of our uh, little boot what I'm going to do right now because I want to have a little bit of a nice finish I'm going to do a couple of turns just under the top of our boot just to let the twine also come back a little bit so I will do a little piece of glue over here just laying my twine 
inside of it. Just wait for a little second. And then we're going to make the turn just on the line we just made with our and just do one under it and just again and just turn it around and we have three of them and i think three is more than enough so i'm going to hold it do a little piece of glue again lay your twine inside of it and go get your scissors and cut it off so, and us think you have a nice ending of your uh, boot and of course we do a little bow uh, on the side so for this boot i'm going to make a little uh, bow but i'm do doing it very easy just take a piece of twine and do it double and then you're going to make just a little bow the same way you tie your shoes so a little bit this way i show you in a moment and just make the loops a little bit more smaller because For the boot is already this one is a little bit too big and you see already this is a little bit of what i mean i'm going to cut it off and you have your nice little bow and i'm going to glue it on top of our boot with the lemon because i'm going to uh, do the boot over each other this one is just a boot you will see on the back side and this one will be on the front So I'm going to glue this on top of here and just make the loops a little bit more coming to life. Just work a little bit with it and just squeeze a little bit, a little bit this way. I say a lot of a little bit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just going to glue it on top of here. You see already now you have your own lemon boot and it is so easy to make now we're going to go to our um, sign at least our board we made as a sign and we are going to uh, look how we are going to uh, place the boots on top of there you see already our blackboard we made earlier what i'm going to do right now i'm going to place the little boots on top of each other and i'm going to glue them on top of each other So I just do a little bit of glue in between. You don't have to do a lot of glue because they will stick together anyway. So I will do a little bit with my uh, glue gun. But of course you can use anything you like. I try to get it a little bit in the direction I want to have it. So, And now I'm going to lay it down and just squeeze it until it is dry. And then we're going to glue it on top of our board. But you can do, of course, one boot. If you think one boot is more than enough, you can also do one. If you want to have uh, uh, next to each other, you just have to make your uh, board a little bit wider. So I'm going to glue the both of them on top of here. So I'm going to do some glue over here. I have to place them a little bit in the middle and now I hope they will stick on my board <laughs> but we will see and here you see already our sign he's a, bit, a little bit big for my camera and you see already I just glue it on top of here what I'm going to do I'm going to do some letters and I'm going to make a lemon farm so I will glue this on top of here And I don't know, the letters are in the white color, but maybe I will give them another color. I have to think about it. But first I'm going to glue a lemon farm on top of here. And you see already I did the letters on top. And I, I know you see it in the back side, in, in, the, in the wrong side. So uh, when I finish, <laughs> when I film this off, you will see it in the right way. That's just my telephone. I'm sorry if you don't see the right way. But of course, it is a lemon farm. And I'm going to look for and now to do something on top of here. Or maybe an arrow from lemon farm this way. 
I have to think about it, but we are going to do a little piece on top of here. So you see, I just took a piece of old cardboard and I'm going to, I did make an arrow out of it. It's so simple to make. I did some glue on the back side and I'm going to did uh, already one turn for my um, twine. So I'm going to try to make an arrow uh, with twine around it. So we will see if this will work out or not. <laughs> this can be going great, but it can also be a big disaster. So, <laughs> but with DIYing, you never know. So we are going to let the, dry, the glue dry, and then I'm going to show you when I'm halfway. So you see already, I am almost halfway. So it is, it is more. Uh, it is not so difficult. I thought it would be more difficult than the, the, this is because it's cardboard. So I'm going to finish it off and then I show you where we place it. And here you see already how our arrow turned out. I'm going to glue this arrow on top of our boot, just this way. I'm just going to glue it. Just do some glue on the back side of your arrow and just glue it on top of here this way and now I'm going to get some wooden letters and I made the word fresh so I'm going to glue it, the word fresh on top of here and then we are going to do this letters and this a lemon farm we are going to uh, color this with the brown color but first I'm going to glue this together so you see this is a little bit how it's uh, looking like and like I said I'm going to uh, do now with this marker I'm going to do the brown color but you can do the gold color you can do the yellow color if I had yellow I probably would do the, the yellow color so I do this in the brown color and this one in the brown color And here you see the finished result of our farmhouse lemon sign. And of course, first I show you my inspiration piece. And you see already this one is so much cheaper than buying them inside of a store. And this one is more unique because you can do anything you like. You can use the print you want. I did a lemon and the harlequin. But of course you can do strawberries. You can do a little blocks. You can do anything you like. I am really happy how this one turned out. And uh, we are more than happy that you are here just to doing this two DIYs together with us. I hope you had fun watching. And we hope to see you in our next DIY. This was it already for this daily home inspiration. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this content, I hope you will consider subscribing to our channel. Have a beautiful day everyone. Bye.